Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Welcome back to A Journey Through the Gospels. Have you ever heard someone say something and wondered what they meant? You probably felt like saying, hey, can you please break this down? What do you mean? Please explain. Well, today, our lesson will feature a parable of Jesus, one which he had to explain. Today's story is entitled, The Sower, and is taken from Matthew chapter 13, and I would invite you as always to read Matthew 13 after you listen to the story. The reference text is taken from Matthew 13, 18. So listen to the meaning of that story about the farmer. Now on to the story. One day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. And as usual, large crowds gathered around him. So Jesus got into a boat and sat while the people stayed on the shore. Now Jesus used illustrations or stories to teach crowds many things. And that day was no exception. These stories or illustrations are called parables. And he gave one about a sower. He said this sower went out to plant his seed. And while he was planted, some seed fell by the road. And the birds came and ate up those seeds. Some seeds fell on rocky ground where there wasn't enough dirt. You see, that seed grew very fast because the ground was not deep. But when the sun rose, the plants dried up because they did not have strong roots. Other seeds fell among thorny weeds. Now the seeds, uh, the weeds grew and choked the good plants. As a result, these plants also did not grow. But there were some seeds which fell on good ground where it grew and became grain, and some plants made a hundred times more grain, other plants made sixty more grain, and some made thirty more grain. There was growth, but each one was different. Now, the disciples did not understand the meaning of the parable, so Jesus had to explain it to them. He said, listen to the meaning of that story about the farmer. What is the seed that fell by the road? Now that seed is like the person who hears the teaching about the kingdom, but does not understand it. The evil one comes and takes away the things that were planted in that person's heart. Now there was seed which fell on rocky ground. So, those represent people who hear the teaching and quickly accept the teaching with joy. But they keep it only for a short time. So, the teaching does not go deep into their lives. And when trouble or persecution comes, they quickly give up what they were taught. There were some among thorny weeds. And what is the seed that fell among thorny? Now that seed is similar to people who hear the teaching, but they allow the worries of this life and the love of money to stop that teaching from growing. So the teaching does not produce fruit in that person's life. But of course, there is good ground. The seed that fell on good ground represents the person who hears the teaching and understands it. That person grows and produces fruit, sometimes a hundred times more, sometimes sixty and even sometimes thirty. And we should be like that person. Now let us think it through. God is generous with his seed. He places his word in our heart, but we have to be willing participants for it to grow fruit. We must be willing to allow God to work in our lives. 
He wants our hearts to be good ground for his word. What is your choice today? Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. Godly seeds are sown every day, but some of these seeds fall by the roadway. Others seem to be safe and sound, but are actually planted on rocky ground. Some are planted among thorns and do start cultivating, but the cares of life prevent them from growing. You have a choice. What do you say? Will you allow your seed to fall on good ground today? All right, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one. What is the name given to the stories Jesus told? A. Riddles B. Parables C. Teasers Or is it D. Brain Scratchers? What is the answer? And the answer is B. Parables Question number two Which was not mentioned in the story? A. Rocky Ground B. Snowy ground. C. Among weeds. Or D. By the roadside. What is the answer? And the answer is B. Snowy ground. Question number three, and I will say it slowly so you can think it through. Seed that fell on rocky ground represents A. One who quickly hear the teaching and joyfully accepts it. B, one who quickly gives up the teaching when trouble comes. C, those who let the worry of life stop the teaching. Or is it D, both A and B? What is the answer? And the answer is D, both A and B. One who quickly hear the teaching and joyfully accepts it, but that person also gives it up when the teaching, when trouble comes. Question number four. When seed falls on good ground, A, the person does not understand the teaching. B, the person keeps the word for himself. C, the person grows and produces fruit. Or is it D, the person immediately wants to become a preacher? What is the answer? And the answer is C, the person grows and produces fruit. Thank you so much for taking the quiz. It is now prayer time, so let us bow our heads, let us close our eyes, and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the seed you sow our way. Help us to be good ground for it. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this is all for today. But as you go through the week, I want to remind you that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.